Okay, so now I have all the points added. And uh, before I go uh, along with showing you the uh, 3D surface representation, there's a couple of features that are also useful when you're um, editing or adding uh, po height points uh, that are available in T-Edit. One is, as you can see right now, the current height is set to 1000. And uh, the height points that are set to 1000 that are that are in the uh, topo region that are 1000 of height are in different color than all the other points. This is to kind of show you right away, uh, just to make it easy to see of what current height you're working on. Also, you can, if you're if you have several lines that are very close to each other, but of different heights, and you're adding points, this could be this. Uh, Show current height uh, could be a useful feature. When you click on current height, all the other points other than the actual, you know, uh, current height uh, values will all be hidden. Um, of course, if you want to show the points again, all you have to do is uh, click on the same button which has a different label now, uh, which is show all. If you click on show all, it'll show all the points. Also, another useful feature is if you go a little closer and you want to refine a certain area, you can see the markers are um, in big size here. But if you need to refine an area and add, um, by refining I mean adding more points, you can change the size of the markers by using the marker slider. So you can make it smaller and then you can go in and add more points if you need to. Obviously, if you're a little farther away and you need to see the points and they're harder to see here, with this size you can go back and uh, increase the size so you can uh, see where you have your points up. Okay, so I'm going to rotate the surface and um, to basically see a 3D representation of your height points or topo points, you click on the preview button. When you click on the preview button you get the actual 30, 3D surface representation. It's a triangle to triangle surface and uh, now we have a new dialog um, uh, called the surface info and basically as the dialog title says it gives you the X Y and Z um, dimensions of this 3D surface and it gives you the triangle count um, this basically this triangle surface can be exported uh, which I will show later can be exported out to a stereo lithography file uh, an SDL file that could be then further used with other applications okay you can also um, overlay the height points that you've created over this 3D surface and you can also continue adding more points in this 3D mode uh, or you know and edit them of course um, one thing I want to show you here is that when you don't have enough points in a certain area um, the interpolation the 3D surface creation does not work very well because there is lack of points to interpolate um, for example we see here is there is a little anomaly down here and this is due for lack of points in this area so in order to fix this kind of issues you need to add more points along this area in order to uh, fix this anomaly right here so for example in order to do that I would go back into my edit mode add 1000 points and add a few add um, points along this line along this edge And then I can regenerate the surface by clicking on the Done button right now and re-clicking on the Preview. And as you can see, that anomaly has gone away. You will we'll probably see the same issues on the other edges since there was lack of points. Since we didn't add points around the edges, you can see there's a few areas here. So what we can do again is um, go back into Edit Mode and um, add a few more points and I'm going to go up I'm just going to go and do the other edges too as you can see I can add the points in this 3D area and I'm kind of doing it all you know freely obviously you can you can uh, add and as much as you want. I'm just adding the points so 
all these anomaly areas can, you know, all these weird parts of the surface can kind of disappear so the interpolation will look a little better. So, go back to done and re-preview. And as you can see, the surface looks a little better now. Now see, the more points you add, the better the uh, interpolation and the creation of this uh, three surface gets. And uh, that's up. Uh, nope. And one more feature <laughs> that I wanted to show. Obviously, first there is the to save the to save the actual. Uh, height fields in uh, topographic file format, you'd use the save or the save as button. And uh, I'm just going to overwrite a file that I've already had, the demo.topo. You click on save, and the data will be saved into this file. Um, this file basically has the three coordinates um, in a columnar format with space separated. I'll show you a simple example, show you what this file looked like. Um, it's basically three, um, the x, y, and z separated by space. These, this is how the uh, height fields will be stored in a, what, what, what's called a topographic file. Um, also, you can export the file as an STL, a stereolithography file. And you can give it a different name. I'm just going to overwrite a file that I've already had. And now you have an SDL file that you can use uh, further on with other applications. And that's basically it for the uh, T-Edit application. Um, there'll be, there is, I hope this application will be useful for you, um, both at your work or if you're a hobbyist or Whatever it is, I hope you have a lot of fun uh, uh, using this application. Thank you.